Hey, Christina. Hey, Mr. Grania. What? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta explain the library to everybody. In here? What? Is it the masks? The bit? You know what? Let's get animated. That was fun. All right. <sighs> Love it when that works. I mean, the library is a magical place. So, of course, it's going to work in here, right? That's right. So, let's talk about how the library is going to be moving online and what you can do to continue your library experience, even from home. Like the public library and a bunch of other stores in town, we will offer curbside pickup for books that you have already put on hold. Hey, yep, the books are right there. Thank you. You're welcome. See you. In order to pick up books from the school, you'll need to place your hold by Tuesday night, say 9 o'clock, don't want to go to bed too late, uh, and arrive at the school between 1 and 3 p.m. on Wednesday. So how do we do that? How do you place a book on hold? Well, let's go online and find out. So from the Smith webpage, or home up here, you would click on Library, and you'd be taken to our lovely Library Media Center page. If you scroll down past the banner, you'll find something that says access the library catalog and your account. That's exactly where you want to be. You could click this link here and go to what's called Destiny Classic and log in that way. Or you could do a search directly from here, which takes you to Destiny Discover, which is a more visual version of that same catalog. I'm a visual person, so I'm going to do my search that way. I'm going to type in ghost because I want to book about ghosts. So I will type ghost, click enter. And I am taken to a screen of results about ghost books, or books with ghosts in the title, at least. I know this is not a book about ghosts, but about a character who's nicknamed Ghost. Ah, The Ghost Collector. This is one I've wanted to read for a while now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that title. Get a little summary of it, okay? But in order to put the book on hold, I'm probably going to have to log in. So I'll click Log In. Your login credentials are going to be the handle of your email address, or just the name part. And then the password is going to be your student number or your lunch number, depending on what you call it. Click Submit. And now I see the same screen, but this time I have some options. I can favorite it, or I can hold it, or I've got some other fun things I could do down here, which we won't go over right now. So I'm going to go ahead and place a hold on that book. If you look down here, it says the hold is now available. Um, and there are some other options for books that are similar to this book over here on the side. So I can place a hold on any of these books. Ooh, what about this one? Deep, dark, and dangerous. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click on that. So notice it's out, okay? The previous book, the one that I liked, had that green in along the side, okay? Um, but this one has an out. Ooh, but there is an ebook available. So I could just read it directly by clicking that. But if I want a physical book, I can go ahead and on this, even though it says out, I can place a hold on it. And notice it says the next available copy will be made ready for me, okay? So it might be that there's a bunch of people in line for it already. There's no way that you can know that. Um, but we will let you know once that hold is ready. So I can click X here. And if you look over here in the upper left-hand corner, there is a little menu with a 1 attached to it. And that's where you've got your holds. Now notice it's got this one that is ready. So the ghost collector, remember how it had that green in on the corner? It's ready. So hold ready, it expires on this date. That means you can come to the school on the appointed day and pick it up. This one is not ready yet. Um, so that pending hold will expire on this date. We're gonna change those dates so that they last a little bit longer. But if you don't actually wanna hold that book, you can go ahead and click on hold. And if you decide that this book is not really the book that you wanna have held, you can go ahead and click on hold. And the hold will be removed and all is back well with the universe, okay? It might take a moment for this little one to go away, and you might look up the book, and it'll still say that it's out, but that's okay. So that is how you place a hold on a book. We look forward to seeing you. Take care. Happy reading. For those of you who are into 3D design or who are curious about it, we're also going to use these book pickup days for you to pick up your 3D designs. More details to follow. Let's take a quick tour through the library website. So from the Smith homepage, you scroll over here to library, 
click library and there you are. Now the main navigation, which you're gonna wanna look for is right here along the left. The main page, I'm gonna scroll down and show you, you've got the place to access your library catalog. You've got some places here to choose some good books, some news information and the Instagram feeds will all be populating over here. So uh, this main navigation bar, we've got library news. We've got a, this section called read that points you to a bunch of eBooks and stuff online, including information for how to log into your accounts through the public libraries. That's right, both Orange County Public Libraries and the Chapel Hill Public Library. Um, research, of course, all the best resources online for you to have the best projects for any class for you to get the best possible grade. You're gonna wanna click that. Under create, I'm gonna show you this one tons of options to do some really incredible stuff like Citizen DJ and Chrome Music Lab that allow you to make music online. Super easy to jump into. It's a very simple, intuitive interface. I think you're gonna love those. And then of course, a link to Tinkercad if you wanna design in 3D. Write, I've got some awesome resources in there for you to hone your writing skills like Ms. Lane's Adventures in Writing, which is our own GES. Um, Miss Lane's website, and then uh, the Library of Congress, Jason Reynolds Grab the Mic initiative, which is super cool. And there are a bunch of other awesome things for you to explore and discover on the library webpage. Can't wait to see what you find. Can't wait to see what you create. Please get in touch with us. Let us know what you're looking for in your library. And because we like to have fun in our library, here's a virtual dance party. <laughs>